You are now watching Hey Jude. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your favorite one and done connoisseur here once again, Jude. And today I'm going to go ahead and actually do ranked matches because I, I feel like there's a lot more tension because of the points. There's something that actually lose and it's probably a lot more interesting to watch opposed to the casual match where it's a lot more laid back. There's nothing on the line. And yeah, I just feel like it's going to make for a more entertaining watching experience. Either way, this is still in that trial period of seeing if it works on the channel, seeing if it's something that you guys want to see. So if it is make sure you mash the like button and comment down below so that i can still gauge is this something that people want to see is it really something that can last on the channel but with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and get it right into that first match Ready? now this guy may be a yellow square but i don't judge people based off the color of the square because there are a lot of people who like to use smurf accounts and then sometimes there are people who really don't play online too much, but they play locally a lot. So I don't really use the square to determine whether they're good or not. But yeah, starting off right here, he knocks my assist out of the way, but I'm able to catch him and go into the basic bread and butter for GT Goku. And here, no doubt, 2H into that wake up pressure. I think I messed up my instant air dash, but I catch him with the running punches. And I think that's going to be it for him right now. Yeah, Zert. And uh, yeah, Frieza's on his way out. Now, Frieza, one of those characters, like I said, not too familiar with. I am aware that he has great zoning tools, great zoning ability, and it's really just up to you to, to capitalize on it. As you saw right there, I backdashed after that Vanish. It is one of those things, like I said, Vanish, very tricky. Depending on where they land, it's going to determine whether they're plus or minus. Or is it even minus? They may just be um, uh, zero. I'm not too sure. But um, it's, it's what's going to determine whether you can make a move immediately after that Vanish or not. And I just got caught by that 5H. And yeah, this guy, may, he does, seems like he may be uh, picking up Frieza for the first time. As you saw there, he reflected and then I used the auto combo of GT Goku to catch him. Once again, that auto combo of GT Goku will catch you if you are backdashing, if you try and reflect. Now, you know what? I think you may be able to like super, I'm not too sure if a normal will be able to beat that auto combo because it really just, it chases you down rather than normally you, you fall out of range of the opponent. Right here I tagged in a, a Bardock so GT Goku can go ahead and heal some life, I get caught. Uh, he's on his last character, not looking too good for my man Sleep Hard here, it's 3v1 and yeah, 2H into the BNB, what am I going to do here? Most likely going to go for the pressure, yep, went for the pressure and this should be it right here truthfully. Is it? Yeah, this is going to be it. Is it? Actually, no. I don't know why I did that. That was stupid. <laughs> that was stupid. I think I was just trying something out. I think I was just kind of um, trying to make it a little bit more, more interesting of a finish. But, yeah. Now, I've played this guy before. And I'm pretty confident he's a rage quitter. <laughs> But don't take my word for it. I'm pretty sure he's a rage quitter. And uh, he's running Frieza 21 and Black. Um, I'm pretty sure he... I, I think I remember him being pretty good. Um, yeah, that was pretty unsafe of him to vanish out of the corner. But it's okay. Uh, online, lag tactics. And, you know, some maybe he was thinking he could catch me off guard. Which, you know, he didn't. But, yeah, lag. Either way... Uh, yeah, I actually catch him with the BNB with GT Goku, and yeah, as you saw right there, he did a delayed wake up. Normally what I do in that situation, as I am in favor of always going for instant air dash jump H, if I do that and I whiff, I'll instantly call Bardock to time the time that they would get up from that knockdown, so it can lock them down, giving me the opportunity to at least apply some pressure after that, so I don't really miss a beat there. Uh, once again, he did it again, and as you can see, I did it, uh, I called Bardock and locked him down. Unfortunately, I messed up my input for that jump air H, and I am controlling the neutral right here with Goku's Kamehameha. Now, that Kamehameha being diagonal at that angle really makes it a lot easier to catch people, especially with the regular Goku assist on point, because he can handle the horizontal range, while I can handle the, the diagonal and horizontal range. He catches me with a guard cancel right here. Wasn't really expecting it, and I think I messed up my button input, because I don't even know how to do that little pogo stick. Uh, or I know I did it for a TOD, but I really don't remember how to do that going into the BNB right here with GT Goku in the corner and Yep, I am a fan of going for the knockdown pressure But instead I want GT Goku to get some help in that auto combo of black I'm always afraid of because of the reach and the speed of it and I think on block it may be plus I'm not sure I I all I know is that whenever I block it and I try and press a button I normally get hit but I think he flinched right there Which is why I was able to catch him 
he calls in my GT Goku. I'm not too sure why. Normally, the reason why I personally would call somebody in after they tagged out is for the blue health. If their blue health is already gone, I normally won't tag them in unless I see them really posing a problem for me in the neutral. Or um, I'd rather them, they're, they're so low on life that I'd rather them be dead and I don't want them to get away and haunt me later. But yeah, I, ta I, I tag Black in because I'd rather deal with uh, level 3 Android 21 than to deal with level 3 Black. That's just my opinion. That's the matchup personally for me because I'm not a fan of playing Black. And uh, yeah, I catch him trying to uh, super dash, but he catches me either way. And is he going to tag in Bardock? Yeah, he does. I'm not too sure if I personally would have did that. Um, I probably would have got rid of my Goku because Goku as a neutral assist is so good and he he I personally love this this uh, Position right here with Bardock being on point and then uh, Goku in the back because he can provide me with so much more than Bardock as an assist at least for the way that I use them so uh, bad call on his end Yeah, as you guys can see like I said um, I always jump up when someone is in sparking and I'm in the air just so I can mess up their their timing for that. Oh. <laughs> like I said, pretty sure this guy was a rage quitter and he is. He waited until the very last minute to do it, man. Come on, man. Once again, playing a yellow square. But like I said, I don't judge and I open him up with that classic uh, 5M or rather 6M into a syscall and I begin my BNB and I just go for the you know the typical wake up pressure and um yeah you guys make sure that whenever you are you're in that predicament of you know eating wake up pressure make sure you're calm because if you're not uh, you're more likely to get opened up and you're more susceptible to just taking the same thing over and over again he calls in that cell and yeah, he's getting hit by the same thing. Just the jump H. The jump H is enough to open this guy up. Um, yeah, I guess experience will re is really the best of teachers because it's really gonna be the thing that gets you to to not be susceptible to these to these uh, basic things, especially when they're not disguised. I'm not disguising it. Well, I'm really just pressuring. But he catches me with that wake up level three. Uh, it's always a good option when you feel like somebody's being overly aggressive in there. You know, you want to keep them in check. And yeah, catch him with the BNB once again. Drag him to the corner. What are we going to do here? Probably going to finish him off. Yeah. Finish him off rather than let him live. That should be two supers. Yep. And he is down. Coming out is Cell. Cell, one of those characters that kind of dropped down on the tier list. But he's still really good, at least in my opinion. His uh, jab isn't as good as it was before. But yeah, man, like I said, he's still a good character. But unfortunately... He is gone from this match. He has a fully stocked Goku in health, but yeah, it, it's pretty rough. I have Sparking, have all three characters, and it is a steep hill to climb. It's not impossible, but it is a steep hill. Now, yeah, I went for the level three. Um, definitely want to go for that level three Oki. He does not have Sparking, so he can't really get out of it. He has to make a right guess, or he just has to take the mix. Yeah, he gets opened up by the Jump H. That is my favorite after that level three. I will go for that jump H pretty much majority of the time because it's a safe jump. Don't know what the hell I was doing here. I think I just made a mistake or I just had a brain fart. It happens a lot of the times when I lose focus in matches. And I just start thinking, what if I do something else? And then mid doing it, I just kind of mess up. Well, look who it is. If it isn't our favorite rage quitter that we played literally like a match or two ago. Mr. The Knight. Now, I'm going to be honest. Truthfully, if you're a rage quitter, I would think you would have some sense of shame. And if you saw someone that you rage quit on fairly recently, I would think that you would have the self-respect to at least, you know, just disconnect out of the match before it begins. But the dude actually had the nerve to continue the match. That's pretty uh, unshameful. <laughs> Either way, I make quick work of his Frieza, and he's down to his 21 in black. And uh, I think I may have figured him out this time. So I don't think I'll be having too much issue. He is the guy that liked to uh, to do a delayed wake-up, which I have to adjust to once again. But uh, yeah, he opens me up with the 21. He tags into the black. And what is he going to do here? Okay, he goes for the knockdown pressure. Oh, that was a nice call. Uh, something that I see a lot recently is people doing calling out the uptech with the dragon rush and like i said i am not the best when it comes to teching dragon rush so if you can really just 
put me in Dragon Rush situations. Like I said, it's a free match and he takes down my GT Goku. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Bardock coming out with Goku in the back. Like I said, this is probably my favorite way to have them, which is why I do have them set up that way. I catch him with the Vanish and uh, most likely going for that sliding knockdown to apply that pressure. Oh no, I go for, oh, I go for the level three. Most likely going to put him towards the corner. And once again, I'm no doubt going to be going for that instant air dash jump eggs just because it's a safe jump in. You know, I'm, I'm safe. There's nothing he could do about it. And that is going to be a, whoa, yeah, lag spike right there. Bad lag spike, but I was able to fortunately recuperate it with the tick, the tick overhead setup. Now he's asked, he's out on his last leg with black. And as you saw right there, I kind of just went for it with the auto combo on this wake up. Something that I'm doing a lot more recently because I feel like it catches all the options, especially if I have an assist. I think I already called my assist right there, but either way, I go into the level three. I'm pressuring him. I want him to use that sparking. Uh, I want the sparking to come out in a situation where I have better control. And yeah, I tried to call him out on it. I should have blocked that right there. But yeah, I messed up. I get out of the corner by using the Lariat and I was really expecting him to vanish because that's what most people would do in that situation. But um, yeah, I I'm really just trying to stay out of the corner and <laughs> I want him to spark so bad. Sparking as we all know. The Oh yeah, you see, you see with Goku with Goku Black's auto combo, it I it's best to stay away from it, at least in my experience. Stay away from it and just really, really, um, you know, I, the best way to do is zone it out. Zone it out. If you see it, throw a key blast, do a Kamehameha, do something. But make sure you're out of the range. But that's very hard because the range is ridiculous. And once again, once again, he DCs. Like I said, the dude has no shame. He'll play you back to back knowing that he just DC'd on you and... <sighs> Either way, that's going to be it for the video, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this series. If you want to see more rank matches, if you want to see me climb up the ladder, and I'm not even sure what the top rank is on, on fighters, but see me climb up the ladder and go through the motions. If it's something you want to see, make sure you show, show the support, show the interest by leaving a like and commenting that you do want to see it so that I can properly gauge, okay, yeah, this is something people want to see. I'll go ahead and keep doing it, bringing you guys what you want to see. Either way, that's it for the video, guys. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe. And if even if you are a subscriber, hit that notification bell because you will not be notified unless you hit that notification bell. Once again, thank you guys for rocking with me. And until next time, Space Cowboys. Bang.